Serving during the height of the First Cylon War, the Orion was a diminutive class of battle star serving in the colonial fleet. The ship was developed to serve as a battle star in a budget, saving money, time, and resources on a much smaller hull than a more conventional ship. More of them thus being able to be built for the same money, and thus be in more places at once. And of course, cost less to replace when they were almost inevitably destroyed by advancing Cylon forces. The class would be built in only small numbers, and was found to be something of a disappointment when in service in their intended role, and many members of the class would find themselves converted to serve in a number of alternative configurations. Serving thusly until the end of the war, if they survived, and being disposed of shortly after the ceasefire fire as surplus to requirements. The design was armed in their original configuration with 12 guns in their primary battery, 32 close-in weapon systems, and 4 missile tubes. They embarked only a small starfighter complement and had a crew of only around 150. The Orion class would begin development following the first years of the Cylon War after the complete integration of the military forces of the Twelve Colonies into the overarching colonial fleet, and after the first generation of unified colonial warship designs had entered service. With much experience, which had been learned during the war from these ships going on to influence the new design. The class had been built with the intention of being capable of standing up to Cylon ships and ending the war quickly with their overwhelming firepower. Unfortunately, by the time the first generation ships were in service, the Cylon fleet had introduced their first generation of base stars, and thanks to their more efficient production methods, the Cylon were able to begin churning out far more ships than the colonial fleet could hope to match. This development led to a rapid increase in the losses suffered by Colonial Fleet, which in turn reduced the number of ships which were available to fight the ever-growing Cylon fleet on the battle lines defending human worlds from attack. In turn, this led some in the Colonial Fleet to reach the conclusion that existing designs were too large and expensive from a manpower, time, and resource perspective to accomplish their jobs, and that smaller, easier to assemble ships would be a better use of finite resources. Quickly uniting into the so-called Swarm Fleet Club, those who felt this way made their arguments to the government, and received permission to begin development of a new ship which would be smaller, simpler, and easier to build in larger numbers than existing designs then in production. The proposed light battle star would receive the project name Orion as the prototype began construction with over 20 follow-on ships being laid down shortly afterwards. Orion-class ships began entering the front lines just months before the Colonial Fleet rolled out its second generation of warships. Designs which benefited from improvements in construction to make them faster to assemble, easier to repair, and less crew-intensive versus preceding designs. In other words, accomplishing the same things as the Orion was intended to, but with significantly better build quality and without sacrificing firepower and survivability. All that is to say that the Orion quickly proved to be an unpopular and disappointing ship once it entered service. Crews and fleet commanders finding the design to be too lightly armed and poorly protected to last long in the battle line, as well as requiring significant support facilities to keep the ships maintained due to their small crew complement. After just a few months of high combat losses proving this point, the surviving Orion-class ships would be withdrawn from frontline service and, due to the constant need for ships, find themselves converted to serve in many secondary roles. One such ship would be the battle star Osiris, which was reported destroyed in battle only to emerge as a member of the Ghost Fleet and begin striking at Cylon positions using novel for the time stealth features and surprise during the later years of the war. Other members of the class would soon follow in this new stealth battle star role, with refits bringing them more in line with the Osiris, and although improved purpose-built ships did enter service to fill this role, 
most of the surviving class would serve until the end of the conflict, when they were all withdrawn from service and scrapped as part of the post-war effort to downsize the fleet to a level that could be maintained in peacetime. Although disappointing early on in their service, the Orion class would find a niche for themselves as stealthed behind-the-line raiders, which caused significant damage to the Cylon logistics line. In this role, the ships proved to be lethal to their enemies and a valuable part of the colonial fleet. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do all the things that better YouTubers are always harshing on you to do. Like the video, comment, share it. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just do that normal stuff that everybody's been telling you to do forever, because I guess it helps the YouTube algorithm recognize you. Although I also hear sacrificing a goat, signing away your soul, and willing away your firstborn son are also guarantees of YouTube success. Or maybe it's just your soul? I don't know. Anyway, do do that stuff. Maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. I This is a hobby. I mean, do what you want. I mean, aside from trash talk this video or the art that I spent way too long on, don't do those things. You will be met with sarcasm.